Runanubandha means the physical memory that you carry within you. This can happen because of blood relationship. This can also happen due to sexual relationships. That body has a certain memory. It's not appropriate to say genetic memory. Runanubandha is not like genetic factors being transmitted from parent to child, not on that level. There is a physical memory of remembering where you came from, not necessarily in terms of tone of your skin, shape of your nose, how you're built, your race, not that. It is just that if you just as much as hold somebody's hand, you will develop runanubandha. This is why in India if you come, people will do like this. They don't want to do that. They will love you like this. <laughs> and there are many things, they won't give certain substances. Nobody will give salt to you or will receive salt from you. If you try to give them salt, you'll say, keep it here. They don't want to take it from your hands. The till or the sesame seeds, they won't take it from you. Certain types of soils, nobody will receive it from you. If you want to give soil to somebody, any kind of soil, there are rituals where soil is given, always you keep it down, I'll pick it from there. Never take it from somebody's hands because you will develop runanubandha. Because the culture is constantly conscious of not building bondage, to keep the bondage of life to the minimal extent, only to the extent it's necessary because you're working towards your liberation. Because of that, this awareness and these sensitivities have come. So the body remembers any kind of intimacy, not only with another physical body, any kind of intimacy even with any physical substance, it remembers certain types of substances are more capable of doing this, certain other types are less. So, for this we… here in the temple they're doing klesha nashana. Have you been through it, anybody? The fire… fire wash? That is, if you're not getting cleaned with a regular shower, <laughs> we're burning you out <laughs> So, what klesha nashana is a way of burning various types of physical memories that we have picked up, not necessarily because of relationships, just by contact, just by coming in touch with so many things. People, situations, atmospheres, so many things, this body picks up memory. Physical memory beyond a certain point that what you pick up will cause a certain level of confusion. Confusion, not here, this confusion is a different thing, that is something you have earned. But physical confusion, if the body is confused, it can't come to ease. It is… many of you have noticed this, certain days your body seems to be confused. Have you noticed this? Wherever you sit somehow, another day you sit down, ha! Ah. So, we created various systems to cleanse. One thing is fire wash, air wash, <laughs> really. <laughs> of course, the water wash every day. When… you know, when I was in my… a period of time, when I was into lot of sadhana, I would have somewhere between five to seven showers a day. because your system becomes so sensitive, you sat on this cushion, now you're conscious what this cushion is doing to you. So you want to wash, at least just water running over your body. Five to seven days, seven times a day. This is not like calculated, I must do it five times or seven times. Whenever you feel like it, most yogis have shower at least twice a day, minimum. Usually it's a dip in the river, just at least once you dip in flowing water so that you're washed clean. 
And during the shift of southern hemisphere to northern hemisphere, which is right now, and again from north to south in Ju June, July, these times the winds are strong in tropical country, or at least in India. In the Indian subcontinent, the winds are strong. So, there are simple processes where you must go and stand in the wind so that you get a wind wash, proper air wash. You will see it will do wonders to you. You try this, when there is a strong breeze, just wear something loose and just simply stand there for half an hour, being conscious of this with your eyes closed, both this way and from the back, you get enough breeze flowing over you, you come back into your house and you feel like, ha, ah, so much lighter and better. You don't know this probably, all the sannyasis, all the sadhus and sannyasis always use very fine uh, sieved uh, mud, red earth to color their clothes. It's… it's… Uh, entire ashram is painted like this because it's just soil we used, okay? Soil with a certain… what? Uh, a certain adhesive sticks like paint. And all buildings in the ashram were painted like this. And all sadhus, sannyasis, those who are on spiritual path, wash their clothes with red earth, filtered earth, with that they wash, so that's why that color, that's how it's come. So either you must wash separately or every time you must coat it with some soil material so that the runanubandha, the only runanubandha that you hold is with the earth, not with people around you, not with things around you, just with the planet. That is okay because if you wear clothes, because the word soil here is used differently, if you wear soiled clothes, <laughs> no, no, not like that. Dipped in red earth, if you wear these clothes, in some way it is a reminder for the body as to where it comes from and where it will go. So those who are on the spiritual path always use clothes which have been dipped in filtered red earth. You won't see it. It won't… it doesn't feel like it, but actually the very color, actually the white clothes turn into mud color because it's been constantly washed with filtered earth. So washing runanubandha is… Uh, one way of doing it is you have a mud bath. So existentially, when physical memory overlaps upon itself, it will cause a physical level of confusion, which will bring a certain level of discomfort, lack of exuberance, lack of involvement with anything, that you become a veteran when you're living. You must be a veteran of life after you're done with it. Before you're done with it, you shouldn't become a veteran, isn't it? <laughs> but that will happen to you, that means in some way, because of overlapping memory, you become less alive to everything around you. That's what we concerned about, that you're becoming less alive.